Hey, it's David Elder, and today on Texas Eats, we're traveling all across the Lone Star State going to great restaurants you won't want to miss. Get ready for juicy sweet strawberries and poteet for this year's poteet strawberry festival. Plus, I share a sweet onion bacon dip recipe that you're going to want to make at home. And we reimagined lasagna with Apco brand meats for a delicious bite the whole family's going to love. All that and more right now on Texas Eats. Our first stop on today's show is in Poteet, Texas for their Strawberry Festival that happens every year. And we're so excited to be out here today because we're actually joining Crystal Dunford. She is the executive director of the event out here and you're picking strawberries. Yes, I am. I am so honored this year. They've asked me to be the grand marshal for the event and I couldn't be more thrilled because I feel like I'm, I'm a strawberry king this year. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what we're looking forward to. It's free strawberries for the rest of my life now, right? Exactly, exactly. As soon as you walk in, we're like, oh, there's David Elder, the strawberry king. The strawberry king. <laughs> I get to walk around strawberry. So what can people expect when they come out to the Poteet Strawberry Festival this year? Homegrown strawberries, good music. There is tons of food vendors out here. Carnival rides, there's lots of entertainment. We have Mike Mesmer, he is our hypnotist. He comes out every year. He's been coming out here for 30 years. Yeah, he's amazing. Uh, now, one of the best activities you can do when you come out here is what we're standing in right now. This is a field of strawberries, and there's a variety of strawberries that you have out here. And you actually have some picked right now, right? Yes, I do, yes I do. Would you like to try one? I would love to, we have to try. We I'm gonna to. eat so many strawberries, I'm gonna turn red this weekend. <laughs> Beautiful strawberries. So this is something that you can do when you come out here, is that correct? Yes, exactly. It's located right behind the Strawberry Festival grounds. Cheers, Cheers. to you. <laughs> a strawberry at the Poteet Strawberry Festival. <laughs> this is beautiful. Yes, it's, it's wonderful and I love how juicy they are. Yes. Um, and you can always tell a difference whenever they're homegrown from Poteet. They are normally super red on the inside. Um, normally when you buy them at the grocery stores, they're like really white because of all the chemicals that they use. I'm about to sound like a strawberry scientist right now, y'all. <laughs> These ones out here, there's, there's different varieties that we talked about. Albion, Valiant. They look the same. Apparently, they're very different. You can actually see the outside, they look very different. This one looks like when you think of a strawberry candy or something like that, what it looks like. This one's got some little deeper, richer tones kind of going on there. This is actually like subtle strawberry. This is like intense strawberry. Mm -hmm. yes. I'm gonna say, I'm a fan of the Albion. Delicious. So Crystal, what does it mean to you to be a part of the event? How long have you been a part of the event? And how long has the event been going on? I have only been here for about eight months. This has actually been going on since 1948. Being how sandy the soil is here in Poteet, strawberries are the best crop to grow here. Then in the 80s, they moved over here to the grounds before it was held downtown. Um, and so whenever they moved over here, it obviously became bigger. We have over 100,000 visitors um, during the three-day event. Wow. Yes, it's great. All the proceeds go back to local nonprofits. Oh, that's so wonderful. Yes. Mm -hmm. So eat a strawberry, listen to some music, and give back to the community at the same time. Exactly. Joining us now is Jim Collins from Jim Collins Farm. Thank you so much for being out here with us. You bet, glad to be here. Now, I was told you make strawberry wine, is that correct? Yes, I do. I have a company named the Poteet Country Winery, and we make strawberry wine, and we also make some grape wines, blackberry wine, we make a blueberry wine, and we'll have them all featured here at the Strawberry Festival. You gotta make sure you're finding Jim Collins strawberry wine from this Jim Collins Farm. It's a little bit of everything. You're gonna find something you like out here. He guarantees it, right? Right. Go on social media right now, we're doing a ticket giveaway, and that's just gonna be for tomorrow. So you gotta make sure you go on today, and it'll give you the opportunity to bring out the whole family. You guys can come out here and enjoy yourselves. Pick some strawberries, Crystal. Thank you so much. Yes, you're welcome. Man, mm -hmm. this is so fantastic. Y'all, the Poteet Strawberry Festival happening now through tomorrow, Sunday. Come on out here, bring everybody. More information on the screen. Follow the link, go to the website, see the whole run of show, everything happening out here. It is a fantastic event. Cheers to you. Cheers again. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I'm in strawberry head. Today on Taste of Texas with Schneiderbach Beer, we're hanging out with Spurs Jesus at Southtown 101 for the Spurs Jesus Burger that you gotta go try out. Two smash patties, two different kinds of cheese, bacon on top, Jesus in the bread, y'all. Lettuce, tomatoes, red onions, pickles on top, both patties, cheese, extra special secret sauce on there, and five rings for the five championships for the Spurs. 
fried pickles, chicken wings, these little bacon wrap jalapeno poppers. These things are crazy, y'all. It's so good. A little bit of chorizo in there as well. And look at the flavor on these chicken wings. Man, I'm pulling that right off the bone right there. Onion rings outside, eating the burger with Spurs Jesus. Go check them out. Southtown 101, amazing bites. Now we're here at the Outdoor Kitchen, and today we're gonna to be sharing an easy recipe that you can make at home. It's super delicious using 1015 Texas Sweet Onions, and it is a sweet onion creamy bacon dip. You're gonna be making this for all the events that you have coming up. You might even make this for yourself at home while you're chilling, because it's that good. First thing you wanna to do to make this, you wanna get some bacon. Now you can get maple bacon, you can get thick cut bacon, I'm using thick cut hickory bacon. It doesn't matter, you can use whatever bacon that you like. I'm putting it in this pan right here. We got the fire going and I'm actually letting it gradually warm up because then all those fats that are in there are gonna break down, they're gonna to start to render and then it's gonna to start to fry in its own fat, right? We're gonna take that bacon out, set it off to the side when it's done nice and crispy and then we're gonna get our 1015 sweet onions. We're gonna chop them up and we're gonna throw them into that bacon fat and then all the natural sugars that are in the onions are gonna help caramelize these onions, creating almost an onion jam. And these 1015 sweet onions are like next level delicious. You could just take a bite out of them by themselves, which I have done, but I tell you what, it's gonna be much more delicious this way, I promise you. Next up, you wanna grab some garlic cloves, just a couple, not too many. This big knife is really helpful for this, but you just wanna kinda of smash it. And once you got a good chop going, it's all gonna get kinda of sticky, which is nice and just keep working it until you got the right texture, the right cut size that you want. There's already a lot of fat in this dish because of all the bacon that was in there, but I like to throw in some unsalted butter and it helps these onions again, get another different layer of caramelization in there. Oh man, that smells incredible. I just got hit with a bunch of garlic right now. Bacon, onion, garlic, butter. While the onions and garlic are finishing up, we're gonna start making the dip. First things first, our Duke's mayonnaise. 15 ounces of Duke's into a bowl, 16 ounces of sour cream, Greek yogurt, about eight ounces, want a cup in there. You just wanna mix this up until it's nice and creamy. This right here is the good stuff. Chicken bouillon comes in the cubes. I love getting this stuff right here where it's already powdered like this. Now I don't really have a measurement for this. So I like to kind of eyeball this one because it's more of a flavor preference. Now, our secret weapons again that we have for flavor, fresh organic dill, chives. Check that out, y'all. That you can make for all these parties everywhere. You put this in the refrigerator, you let this thing set up, you can have it ready for the next day, you can have it ready for the evening. This is where it's at. You can also just have it fresh, like we're about to do right now. I have some pita bread on the side. I'm gonna warm those up in this pan, some of that bacon fat and onion flavor, chop those up, and then we're diving in. All right, y'all, I gotta dive in. I'm getting two pieces here, I'm gonna double it up. Go in right off the top, make sure I get some of the onion, some of the bacon, a little bit of everything. Look at that, absolutely delicious. This recipe is amazing. Big shout out again to 1015 Texas Sweet Onions. That's the bite. Put it on burgers, put it on sandwiches, feed it to grandma, grandpa, the kids. That's a winner. I'm going back in, so good. Coming up later on Texas Eats, we cruise to the south side of San Antonio for some sweet treats and savory bites at El Jefe Food Truck Park. And next on the show, we reimagine lasagna with Apco brand meats for a delicious bite the whole family's gonna love. Don't go anywhere. Texas Eats will be right back after the break.
Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're here on another side of the Texas Eats Outdoor Kitchen. Joining me right now is Jay Rowe, the owner of Avco Brand Meats. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Now, we're holding here two lasagnas, but they're not just any lasagna. This is chorizo lasagna. You use corn tortillas on yours. I use pasta on mine, and we're going to show you guys how to make it. We're going to bake it, and then we're going to eat it. You ready? I'm ready. Let's Let, go. Let's do it. To get started with this recipe, you want to make a premium roasted tomato sauce, which will be the base of the lasagna, and an avocado lime cilantro crema, which will stand in place of a bechamel sauce on a standard lasagna recipe. To get started with the red sauce, you want to use some mesquite charcoal and get all of your veggies on there. Smack them on the grill. Got some onions, green onions, the Roma tomatoes, and then throw them into a blender. And I'm putting my jalapenos, my serranos, and green onions, and then the Roma tomatoes, and I'm blending this all in with a bowl. Garlic in there as well. Try not to spill any. Some salt, fresh cracked pepper in there, and then Mexican oregano, lime juice, a little bit of cumin on top. Mix that up, and that is your base red sauce. Start with our base sauce first, okay? Gotcha. We're gonna go ahead and start layering down our pasta. You're putting down the tortillas. All right, so we have our sauce down. Next up, the chorizo. So chorizo. this is the Especial Premium Blend. Now this is an avocado, cilantro, lime juice, garlic, roasted serranos, jalapenos, green onion crema. All right, so this is Oaxaca cheese. Oaxaca cheese is a very stringy, melty white cheese, very similar to a mozzarella, but we're not making Italian food right now, right? So we want to stick to more true flavors. Now, Jay, here's the fun part. We're going to keep doing this over, over, and, over and over and over until we get to the very top. And then we're going to add a little bit of cotilla cheese mixed into this as well. Oh. So we have some time, you guys. Oh, we're going to build this up with the magic of TV. It's only going to take us a couple seconds, really, though it's going to take a couple minutes to build this all out. You ready? I'm ready. All right, let's do it. All right. <laughs> Jay, so we got this set up. I'm team lasagna, you're team corn tortilla. We have them both plated, gorgeous. I gotta say though, when we were pulling yours out, it had that cheese pull in there. It better than I thought. It's, <laughs> I mean, this is, I mean, I was always a little bit, you know, leaning towards the corn tortilla. Here you go, cheers. Cheers. The chorizo lasagna, that's the bite. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. The flavors on that are insane. That corn tortilla is just the bomb. You've tried the corn tortilla, I've tried the lasagna, and now we're gonna try the other one. So I'm gonna try flip the corn flop. tortilla. We're gonna flip flop. You're trying the lasagna. Let's go for it. Cheers. Cheers. I gotta say, I like the lasagna. I might be leaning towards that too. Right? Yeah. This one just layered all the flavors better. The the pasta the absorbed pasta. it more. So the verdict's out. Wow. The lasagna pasta one between the two. I think you can't go wrong with either, but I, I would say the lasagna pasta is the one to try. Jay, thank you so much. Thank Apco you, Brand man. Meats. Awesome. Love working with yeah, you guys. You too. Wonderful products. We got a lot of lasagna to Very eat amazing. out here. Coming up next on Texas Eats, we cruise to the south side of San Antonio for some sweet treats and savory bites at El Jefe Food Truck Park. So don't go anywhere. Texas Eats will be right back after the break. You're telling me there's like, there's a lot of deals going on this Explore right here, right? There is. This is what I call the trifecta. You got 1.9 for 60, 90 days till first payment, and free service. Free service. Free service. I had to like stutter on the free, because I ever, you don't hear free very often. That's correct. Free service, 90 days, 1.9. That's correct. This is crazy. I mean, the Explorers are so popular. They are. And it's a great vehicle for the family. I have one, and I absolutely love it. So you guys got to come out here, walk a lot, talk to a representative out here how you can get your family to an Explorer today. And of course, just head to their website, www.jordanford.com to get more information on all these deals. That's crazy. Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're with Juan Aguilar to check out some fresh made pollos asados, delicious burgers, and Angus beef fajitas. Let's check out El Jefe Pareada. The 
oil cesados out here at the Pariada truck. Cheers. Cheers. That's the bite. I could eat like five chickens with that. Maybe six. The fajitas right here, bell peppers, onions, and you're seeing you're using Angus meat on this guy. Cheers. Cheers. It is really incredible. I love the texture, the flavor on there. In the front, you got the burger right there. So what's inside this one? So we have ham, bacon, lettuce, onions, ketchup, and yeah. yellow cheese. My goodness. And this one right here, Angus beef as well. Angus beef, yeah. And then you got the sesame seed bun. I'm going in. Here we go. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. Wash this all down. We have fresh aguas frescas out here, which are a little bit different than the other trucks, right? We have our Jamaica agua fresca, lemonade, and our melon. The party out of the truck, this is the one you guys gotta go try. This is the savory side. You got a little sweet here, but now we're gonna go to another truck that's serving up your desserts. Mini pancakes, right? Your mango nadas and all the other stuff that you want using bluebell ice cream. Yes, sir. Cheers to you. Cheers. All right, let's go eat some more dessert, y'all. Thank you, Crystal. I sincerely appreciate it. This looks spectacular. This is the first treat we're getting out here at the dessert truck. So it's mangonada, we have chamoy, our Lucas powder, some gummies, and everything's natural. This is a great way to cool down on a hot Texas day. That's the bite. This is perfect for the kids, for the big kids, for everybody. Crystal, thank you so much. Hi, right, brother. This looks like a loaded fruit cup. What's going on on the inside? So we have jicama, cucumber, pineapple, and naranja. It's our oh. chamoy made in house. All right, the jicama, that's the buy. Mm -hmm. Woo! I'm gonna keep eating this one, but there's so much more on the menu. So these are loaded up mini pancakes here. The ice cream on the side. You can get any kind of ice cream you want, right? We have around 20 flavors of Bluebell ice cream. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, and it's Bluebell, so you know Texas it's good. Texas made, yeah. That's right, Texas made. You have the fresh fruit on top. Cheers. Cheers. The mini pancake. This might be my winner right now. This thing is banging. Last but not least, y'all, look at this thing. A loaded milkshake. This has strawberry on the inside, vanilla ice cream on top. I mean, I'm seeing a Pop-Tart. I see some candies. I mean, this thing is like what you want when you're thinking milkshake, right? The kid's dream right here. The <laughs> kid's dream. <laughs> so the loaded strawberry milkshake. This is delicious. Look at that, that's a full-size snack. Thank you so much for showing us your dessert truck, you guys. When you're out here, you're feeling like a sweet tooth item. This is where you need to stop the mangonadas, the mini pancakes, the milkshakes, the fruit cups. You can get it all out of here, plus so much more. So I'm gonna take one more sip, one more bite, and we gotta eat some more food. Don't go anywhere. There's more Texas Eats coming up right after the break. Hungry for more Texas Eats? Be the first to check out our exclusive content by searching Texas Eats on YouTube. Plus, get notifications when we upload new content by subscribing to our channel. We're showcasing the best bites from across the Lone Star State, including burgers, pizza, barbecue, and tacos. Search for Texas Eats, subscribe to our channel, and watch Texas Eats anytime on YouTube. Hey, it's David Elder. Get your phones ready. Whoa! We're gonna be sharing with you a ton of restaurants that you're gonna to wanna to share with your friends and family. Get fresh out the Trompo Al Pastor and loaded strawberry horchata plus so many sweet treats at Taquitos del Jefe on the south side of San Antonio. This food truck park features one of the best food trucks in the city. This spot right here, Taquitos del Jefe, has great Al Pastor, strawberry horchata. They also sell candies and they have birria tacos as well. And these things loaded up with flavor, so tender. The jalapenos, the onions, fresh aguas frescas out there. And all the sweet treats, they have fruit cups, 
mini pancakes loaded up, loaded mango navas at their dessert truck. But I'm telling you, these tacos are where it's at. They have so many different options that you can choose from, including their big taco, which is a little bit of everything. The ceviche is over the top. Address on the screen. Go check them out. Plus, they have a brand new Poyos Asados truck. Check this place out. The Jefe Pariada. This place is rocking as well. Go check them out. Get brunch and huge cocktails at Ike Chula, the newest restaurant in San Antonio, located north of downtown, right off of Maine at the former Luther's location. And this spot is serving up the goods. The entire inside has been completely renovated, and they're serving up insane drinks from behind the bar. That is a huge margarita slushy, y'all. And you have to have at least four people to drink that one. You can also get French toast, pancakes, cover them in syrup. Enjoy yourself. They also have large mimosas out there. Bedia pizza. That is delicious. Dip it in that consomme. They're also serving up their take on chilaquiles. They have the chilaquiles and they are so bold. They're a little bit smoky. Got the egg on top. Grab a cocktail. Bring some friends. Enjoy yourself. The space is huge. Go check them out. Address on the screen. I tell you what, if you're not grabbing one of those Chudo ice cream sandwiches, you're doing it wrong. These are 1015 Texas Sweet Onions grown in Uvalde, Texas, and that's me eating one. They're so fresh and delicious, you can actually just take a bite out of them. I don't recommend it, though. Check these out. That's Steve Cargill of Cargill Farms. And look, those are baby onion seeds, and this is the full production line. That This is what it takes. So they get all of them grown in the fields, and when they're mature and they're ready, they come in here and they get hand-selected. Everything's done by hand. You can't use a machine to actually harvest this. So everything has to be done precisely so that when these onions arrive in stores, they're perfect every single time. These are the 1015 sweet onions. They're called that because the date they're planted is around October 15th. And check this out. This is the whole process over here. They get bagged. All these perfect onions go into boxes, into crates, and ship to stores near you. To learn more information about these Texas 1015 sweet onions, make sure you go online, tx1015.com. Saucy Birds is the newest concept by Chef Cesar Zepeda at the former Sangria on the Berg location on Fredericksburg Road in San Antonio. They got bread pudding out there, chicken sandwiches absolutely loaded up. And these tenders put a lot of science into them to make them perfect. 13 different sauces, and there's more than that also on the menu. Nachos, salads, these baskets with the fries, so good. You can also get a Cobb salad, and I highly recommend making the tender spicy. And you can also get frozen regular margaritas. They have so many different good drinks out there, man. You got to wash it all down. This food is hitting, and these tenders are juicy on the inside, crispy on the outside. They also got a little comeback sauce right there, a spicy honey mustard. Oh, my goodness. Plus, you got to get that spicy tender and dip it in their cucumber dill sauce. This stuff is crazy. That combination is nuts. Everything out there made from scratch, made fresh. Make sure you go check them out. Address on the screen. And you go get this sandwich. It's going to fill you up. Three tenders in there. That sauce, some pickles on there. House made. Go check them out. The bottling department at the Pearl is now home to Freight Fried Chicken, a concept that draws its inspiration from black women in post-Civil War America that sold fried chicken to rail passengers traveling through Gordonsville, Virginia. And Chef Nicola Black from the Jerk Shack and Miroti is serving up the goods. Hot fried chicken. We're talking that oil on the outside that's so good. This chicken sandwich is absolutely loaded with three chicken strips. You got the honey mustard sauce on the outside, and that is just insane. The tenders by themselves, so good. You don't even need sauce. On them. The biscuits, fluffy, buttery, amazing, slightly sweet. Mac and cheese is super creamy as well. All of the bone in chicken is halal, packed with flavor. And this stuff, man, seasoning down to the bone. So many different options. This one right here, chamoy pickles. Oh my gosh, they're tangy. They're a little sweet. The slaw has a great flavor to it. And all of the chicken is gluten free. Go check them out. Freight fried chicken now at the bottling department at the Pearl. The new location of Iguana's Burrito Zilla is now open in San Antonio. And they're serving up huge burritos and fresh ingredients like their rice and all their sauces that they make as well. And check that out. Beef, pork, chicken, all made from scratch right there in front of you when you walk into the restaurant. This is the Burrito Zilla. This thing is massive. You can see on the bottom, cheese, beans, rice, meat of your choice, pico de gallo, guacamole made in house, sour cream, rolled up. Look at this. Professional. And then rolled up in foil. Now you can cut that 
that bad boy in half. The Super Burrito is my favorite bite in the entire restaurant. You get the queso on the bottom on this big tortilla, then you get another tortilla on top, and then you get your choice of meat, you get the sour cream, you get french fries in there as well, and then you get the guacamole in there. You cut it in half. It is an ultimate bite. These little tacos are awesome. Melted cheese, you get the refried beans, meat of your choice, guacamole, and then you get the sour cream, pico de gallo, and then of course right here, shrimp tacos. Because you know they got the California vibe in them, right? They got that love in there. So you're gonna throw in the shrimp tacos in there, cotija cheese, the Mexican Parmesan, loaded fries as well, meat of your choice, fries, queso, and then you also have the sour cream on there. Throw some of their hot sauce on there. Take a bite of the burrito zilla, very shareable, but if you're super hungry, you could totally put down half of that thing. The shrimp tacos, the super burrito, that's my favorite bite. You have to go try it and wash it down with some aguas frescas. The space on the inside is huge, plus they have a drive through Address on the screen, go check them out. Iguana's Burrito Zilla now open in San Antonio. Get fast and delicious Thai food at Sukhothai. The new location in Alamo Ranch on the far west side of San Antonio is serving it up. The family-owned and operated business is serving up some great dishes, just like their Sukhothai noodle dish. Man, there's so much flavor in there. Everything gets stir-fried in the back. You got the glass noodles in there, a little bit of shrimp, a little meat, the sauce they're making right there in the back house as well. The Sukhothai fried rice is a great dish. They have pork in there that also has an egg on top. You can get the Tom Yum soup. They also have Thai curry on the menu and a couple different Chinese dishes on there. I mean, real simple stuff, super delicious, packed with flavor. The one you got to get the save room for, of course, mango sticky rice with the sesame seeds on top. This whole menu is just banging. And they got the little fried appetizer, the two different sauces, the Tom Yum soup, delicious. I'm telling you what, bring the whole family. Everybody's going to find something on the menu that they enjoy. You can get it real spicy if that's how you want it. Different locations across San Antonio. This one address on the screen, go check them out. Get outstanding espresso drinks, coffee, sweets, and so much more at Beans and Brews, especially at their newest location in downtown San Antonio. And they have pastries. They also have these sandwiches right here. And there's a variety of different options. They're grilled cheese. Look at this thing, gooey. You can also get a bagel. You can load it up your way. This one, ham, egg, and cheese, gooey as well. This one on there, a cilantro pesto on there. That's really, really nice. And of course, avocado toast, a classic option. And there's so many different drinks to choose from. You can get mocha drinks, splashes of cream in there. You can also get espresso thrown right on top of this one right here with some syrup in there. It gets blended up and check this out. Once it's all blended, it gets cookies added in there. This is their B&B Cookie Monster Frappe. You can also get their energy drinks and a variety of different flavors as well. These are ice delicious drinks packed full of energy. Their espresso float drinks start with their frozen base and then a shot of espresso right on top. You can also grab their popular Mr. B, which has espresso in there. It has their white cocoa base and it also has cream on top. You can get caramel on there. Load it up. Try all the different offerings on there. Address on the screen. Multiple locations in San Antonio. Go check out their newest location in downtown. But man, just go out there and try these drinks. I tell you what, they're all rocking. So delicious. Crazy Katsu has a new location and a new sandwich on the menu. And just listen to that crunch, my goodness. Located off Hebner Road in San Antonio, their new location has a drive-thru and a sit-down area, and you got to order the Texas Eats two-step sandwich. Instead of buns, baby, you got two pieces of fried chicken, pepper jack cheese, a handful of jalapenos, a massive amount of bacon on there, lettuce, a chipotle ranch, pico de gallo, and then another piece of chicken. Look at that, with more pepper jack cheese. You can ask to get it wrapped as well. Comes out just like that in a little bundle of joy. They're also slaying out a new patty melt, Double is the best way. Two different kinds of cheese. They have a new sauce on there. Brioche bread by Chicago Bagel and Deli here in San Antonio. The OG sandwich, the Pandam Smash Burger. You can also get these croquettes. You can also get kimchi loaded fries, kimchi bowls, and a media chicken sandwich that you have to try to believe. And don't forget to save room for these super creamy, delicious milkshakes. Don't go anywhere. Texas Eats will be right back after the break.
Nutella French Toast at Piotti's on their new brunch menu, and this bread is Nutella Loaf from Bird Bakery. They're slicing this up fresh in-house. The Nutella Loaf gets dunked in a custard-like batter, and then look at that, put a right onto the flat top, sizzling, so you're getting that crunch on the outside. Nutella in the middle, strawberries, and a little bit of cream on there as well. Right here, Benedict, and two different kinds on the menu. You can get with salmon, you can get a classic with prosciutto as well. Now, the avocado toast is top tier. Some of the best I've had. Crispy bacon. They also have cocktails on the menu as well, but the avocado toast where it's at, that's really good. Fresh toast baked inside of their wood-fired oven. They're also serving up Zeppeli fried donuts, and these things, look at that little sauce on the side, little marmalade, and you can dunk them right inside. Look at that perfect poached eggs on these Benedicts as well. Address on the screen, two locations in San Antonio Piatti's. Go try the Nutella French toast. Go get some cocktails. Enjoy yourself for brunch. This is where it's at. Get handmade gorditas at Gorditas Mitorion's new location in San Antonio, where they're making everything from scratch, including their chicken thing that, look at that, so delicious. All of their beef, vegetables, chicken, pork dishes, all made right there on the range. Rolled up flautas made by hand, deep fried, and loaded up with goodness on top. You know those things are delicious. The gorditas get hand pressed, put onto a flat top, the plancha, right? And then they're cut open and stuffed with your choice of all the different delicious ingredients. The picadillo is just top notch shredded chicken shredded beef and they also have so many different options on there this right here so piss and you can get those loaded up as well the flautas everything is delicious i tell you what i couldn't pick which one to try first they're also good and if it ain't dripping you're tripping go get something delicious out there with the flautas so crunchy wash it all down with an ice cold horchata and lemonade your choice they also have delicious salsas inside so much space to go in there relax go grab some fresh gorditas at gorditas mitorion Get pancake platters and amazing brunch only at Comfort Cafe in San Antonio with multiple locations and they're serving up these Oreo stuffed French toast. Benedict's, of course, the pancakes as well. French toast loaded up with strawberries, cheesecake. Get a Texas-style Philly cheesesteak. You can also get peanut butter loaded waffles and they have crepes on the menu as well. This burger is out of control. A flood forced Comfort Cafe to close the Bandera location, but now it's reopened and you can go out there and enjoy all these brunch delicious goodness plates. And look at this one, Oreo stuff French toast. It's a delicious French toast all by itself. And then they put Oreos in it with the cream, the powdered sugar, and then they put Oreos on the outside. I tell you what, it is very shareable. It's very delicious. And by supporting the restaurant, you're supporting Serenity Star, a 501c3 program helping addicts in recovery. Go out there, get this amazing food, peanut butter pancakes, address on the screen, multiple locations in San Antonio. Make sure you go try their Oreo stuff French toast. Toroko Sushi has a new location in San Antonio off Northwest Military Highway, and they're serving up all the delicious bites that you know and love from their Santerra location, plus some new items. They have the rainbow roll. They're setting everything on fire out there. Fresh fish. And you know they got the miso soup, different kinds of soups out there as well. Everything out there is so much flavor, and all of these rolls are made fresh, and they have great bites. That one right there, a crispy rice you have to try. This hot stone, you get A5 Wagyu, and you can cook it right there, dip it in their sauce. Great flavor on that. That is really fun. You know, you have the fresh masago, the tobiko on there as well. And you know you got to get miso soup to start the meal. Fresh salmon. You also have fresh tuna out there. And this stuff is just high-grade cuts. Everything cut there right in front of you at the sushi bar. The owner and the chef, he is amazing. Different kinds of sake, wine available as well. And you know they got that Toro sushi. It's in the name. Grab some sake, grab some wine, and check out their brand-new location as well as the Santerra location for some great bites. Get juicy marinated chicken in San Antonio at Pollo Pepe, the first location in the United States. This chain from Mexico is loaded up with flavor, and they are serving up the goods. Check that out. Freshly chopped grilled chicken, and this stuff is so delicious. I mean, falling right off the bone, and that flavor goes deep down into the meat. Hand-rolled flautas as well. That chicken from the meat over there that you just saw gets chopped up, and then they put seasoning and then put them in the flautas. Fresh chato beans. They have the chili toriados as well. You can get them for each of the family orders. Yeah, I just got it on the side. I got to have a bite. They also have sweet tea. They have lemonade. They have hojata. And you know, I got to dip it in this creamy green sauce. It's a little bit spicy, but big flavor. That meat is so good. This place is awesome. The flout is also big flavor as well. Spice it up. Make sure you get a little pepper in there. The salads are really good. I'm telling you, this red salsa, green salsa, you're going to put that on everything. Put the beans and the rice together with some of the green salsa. Next, 
level tasty. This place is so cool. Pollo Pepe. It's been around since 1979. They're now here in the Alamo City. Address on the screen. You can get a two-piece meal for under $10. I really don't know too many other places where you can get a bargain like that. Plus, the flavor is just out of control. And these family meals, perfect for everyone. There's so many different delicious bites. And those drinks, wash it all down with an ice-cold horchata. Don't go anywhere. Texas Eats will be right back after the break. Huge cinnamon rolls at the Grand Hyatt Hotel in downtown San Antonio. Plus, get a day pass to enjoy some of the amenities at the hotel during the summer, including access to the pool. But the food, man, this is where it's at. They have a restaurant on the lower level of the hotel that is a servant of the goods. Bar Rojo has cocktails that also has brunch items that will blow you away. They're doing a really great job out there. That's the inside. This is the top view from the pool level of the hotel. The terrace on fifth and look at that beautiful pool they also have an indoor area that you can get a reservation to where you can play top golf they also have football games this burger is where it's at though wash it all down with an ice cold bloody mary and you get some bacon a little bit of olives on there this club sandwich i mean it's top tier and how can you call it brunch without a texas shaped waffle loaded up with syrup so many refreshing bites on the menu address on the screen go check them out so much fun Today on A Taste of Texas with Shinerbach Beer, we're at the Mellow Mushroom in San Antonio and Stono to check out all the delicious food on their menu, including their pizzas. Let's look at this. They're tossed in the air, spun around, and this dough is super delicious, nice and tender, crunchy on the outside. This one loaded up with pepperonis, all kind of meat, and they also have so many options. This one, shiitake mushrooms, the supreme, and just the cheese alone is so good. They also have chicken wings on the menu and fresh Shiner Beer on draft. Make sure to get an order of wings and try the different pizzas out out there you can get them in different sizes and wash it all down with an oktoberfest shiner beer they also have salads and the pretzel bites daily specials as well make sure you're following them on social media to learn more get this gigantic beef rib burrito now at el camino go celebrate look at this thing mac and cheese a giant beef rib inside of a burrito and these things are no joke super sized barbecue deliciousness a fresh tortilla on the flat top beef rib mac and cheese all made from scratch pico de gallo in there and the smoked flavor on these things are just incredible. Sealed shut with some queso on there as well. You know these things are just rocking, baby. So stop what you're doing. Grab the kids. Grab the dog. Get in the car. Go to El Camino. Address on the screen. Grab a drink and just hang out. Grab one of these beef rib burritos now available at El Camino. And you know they got the draft beers and the cocktails available as well. Go check them out. This is where it's at. Dave's Hot Chicken is opening up their newest location in San Antonio on the southeast side at Brooks. And get ready for all the delicious bites that you know and love. Check that out. They got their sauce with the mild chicken sandwich. You can also put the honey on the hot sandwiches to tone it down a little bit. Drinks, shakes, they got it all out there. That's the menu. All the customer service out there ready to rock it. And they got the mac and cheese. You know you got to get that mac and cheese. Everything out there has so much flavor and spice to it. And of course, you can pick the spice level that you want. These ones, kicking it up, going to the meat right there with the sauce you can also get the fries on the side all of the sandwiches are hitting with the different flavor levels even the slaw is where it's at fries with the sauce you put anything with that sauce it's going to be delicious this right here the reaper be aware that this is very hot i went in for the big bite and i immediately regretted it if you're crazy and you love the spice go for the reaper i had to have some of the shake and a drink to cool it down because it was hot it kept burning that's the artist who painted everything on the walls go check them out address on the screen get pizza loaded with gyro meat at this brand new restaurant in san antonio pizza and grill is a family owned and operated business and they are slanging out the goods off new brothels and mason street fried zucchini poppers mozzarella sticks gyro plates fresh rice and the pita bread this pizza though the gyro pizza 
pizza, top tier. You can get chicken tikka out there as well. And this buffalo pizza, all their pizza. It's crazy how much assortment and variety they have on the menu. Plus, get eight bone-in chicken wings for $10.99. Look at that. You can get the tzatziki sauce on top of this pizza. There is nothing else like this in the Alamo City. So good. Loaded calzones. And look how big these steamy calzones are. Dip it in that marinara sauce. Go to town. These things are so good. Loaded up. Look at all that in the inside. That's a gyro meat calzone. Nothing like it out here, y'all. Gotta go check them out. The menu is stacked. Here's a shot of the menu. Go check them out. They have great prices, great deals. Address on the screen. Pizza and grills where it's at. Don't go anywhere. Texas Eats will be right back after the break. Hungry for more Texas Eats? Be the first to check out our exclusive content by searching Texas Eats on YouTube. Plus, get notifications when we upload new content by subscribing to our channel. We're showcasing the best bites from across the Lone Star State, including burgers, pizza, barbecue, and tacos. Search for Texas Eats, subscribe to our channel, and watch Texas Eats anytime on YouTube.